everybody, it's me again, and I did a, um, just wanted to share this project with you. Now, I did attempt to do a, like a tutorial or start to finish on this because it is something that I made from scratch. Um, you've seen the pictures already, so it's a wall hanging with pockets, and I got the idea of also doing that. It, it looked really different than, um, than what you see here, but the idea of having a piece, you know, like a fabric that's folded and made into like three pockets, this is only two, with just something hanging, I just kind of took that idea and made this. So, like I said, I um, did record myself as much as I could. Um, I have to edit it if it's possible. It's a lot of videos, so I don't know if you're going to get to see it or not, but I will uh, try to do to um, get that tutorial up, but I'm not going to promise anything because it is a lot that I recorded and that I have to go through. So, um, But I did do this. I'm doing this video now just to show you what I made. And I can't zoom out anymore, but that's why I always take pictures. So it almost looks like my altered canvas bags. But it's not. And it is for part of a swap that I made with your list. And she's, um, we agreed on the clock and then a surprise. So this is my surprise, but I'm also going to make her a card soon. So that's like my next project. Now, I was trying to keep within the shabby chic and not exactly match matchy match but I still wanted it you know there's still the pink and the creams and I did use the same pearls on here I was gonna put chain but I just thought that would have been too much so I didn't do that but um, anyway let me I gotta cut something that I forgot to get these little fuzzy things so I did make this from scratch using two pieces of felt, which is this right here. So I, I took them long ways and I trimmed off a piece so that it would be the same width of this pre-existing hanger that I had that was given to me a long time ago by somebody. I don't recall who, but whoever it was, thank you. I'm sure you know who you are. I finally used it. It's been hanging in my closet for a while now. So I used it and um, again I found the idea of this pocket through something on Pinterest. So I just took the two felt pieces and I cut one shorter width than the other. Um, it ends right there to create my pocket. Sewed that piece together with the bigger one, just three, um, and I use my machine too, my sewing machine, so I sewed here, here, and here, and then one in the center as straight as I could, but it actually came out a little crooked, you know, it was a straight line, but it was just going over a little bit, so, um, but it created two pockets, which I forgot to bring the cards to show you. Just had some seven gypsies cards here that fit perfectly actually. So I might tuck these in or some goodies, I don't know. So one pocket and there's the other one. Now it goes all the way to the edge here and over here. It would go up to there, but the little piece there is kind of in the way. So she can stick cards or she can put um crafty supplies, maybe some stick glue or something. Maybe she could put like a rolled up lace in there. Oh, that'd be nice. So anyway, that's what I created. So I started with that first and with some of the extra felt, I made a couple little straps that I knew were going to go around my hanger and I hot glued them and I actually pinched it and hot glued it down so it's not going to Hopefully it's not going to come off. Now it seems like it is because all of this is padded with fabric and that's the way it came. But it's not going anywhere. So this was already like that. And it had a pink bow but I took it out um, so that I could put something else. 
So I created the pocket, I attached it to the hanger, and then I started to decorate kind of like I did my um, canvas bags that I've done. So I pretty much, you know, I hung something off the bottom and then just started layering trims. Um, this time I broke out some of my wedding applique, which I haven't used in a long time. And um, I decided to use some flowers from my stash. Now this came off of a spray that had a different pink flower and it had some pink ribbon and you know pink loops and stuff. I took off the flower and the pink ribbon and just kept the leaves and it's got like pearl sprays hanging and these sprays here and the leaves have beads on them and some bling. So then I just uh, replaced the pink flower with this one here that has the um, stamen inside and it also had two pink leaves and then I added a couple of styrofoam flowers now these two someone gave me as well and I don't recall who again but it's soft it's not the paper I didn't want to add paper flowers to this um, so again I just started layering things now this big piece here comes off of a really large doily that someone gave me and now uh, you can't really see the back but I cut off a section of it and hung you can see how much is hanging off and I love the way it just hung there so um, I started off with that piece and then I layered a kind of large wedding applique on top of that and this is pretty much all at the edge of my little pocket thing and then I added this trim here, which I had to ruffle myself, so I just hot glued and ruffled and hot glued and ruffled. And um, I didn't add this to later, so I'll get to that later. The next trim that I added was this double ruffle trim. It's a lace with this cream satin. I don't know if you could see that. Well, let me um, kind of zoom in here. So that was the next piece that I laid on. And then I put this trim, and actually, um, I kind of put this trim after I put this wedding applique piece. So I just added another wedding applique piece here. And then I remembered that I needed to add my like finishing touch here, which is one of my favorite trims that I use. So it doesn't go all the way to the end, but that's okay. Before I put that down, though, I put this wide pink lace that covers my pockets. And I let it, I let the, the little scallops kind of hang off the edge. So you don't see the felt fabric under here anymore. You're only going to see this little section. So then I went ahead and, you know, I added that. And then I put this dangle trim that I think is from Natasha Scrapbook Corner. It's been a while, so I don't remember 100%. And then I finished that with this gorgeous Wild Orchid Craft. Um, flat back pearl trim. Let's see if I still have it here to show you. I just recently got this. So I use that. And then I went back and tucked in a few things before I even did the rest. So I went and tucked in a little bit of lace here that it's the same lace so I just cut like part of it off and then ruffled it up and tucked it under there I just wanted a little bit of pink down here and then I took a doily and cut that in like two-thirds and tucked that under one of the ruffles then that piece of doily that was off of this I tucked under my cream ruffle so it gives me all these little layers like I like to do on this side, I didn't like how this was looking so straight on both sides. So over here, I knew I was going to put some kind of arrangement, but I made sure that it you know, was hanging off the side. Even some of the dangle trim that comes here that's behind all of this is kind of peeking over here. So I just took another piece of this, and this piece, it was so wide, and it had it just drapes like this as it is with all the little ruffles. I love that. So I just tucked it back here. It's actually all the way around here but I ended up covering a lot of it. 
but that's okay that's how it is so I put that piece there another doily here that's kind of hidden another wedding applique that's just peeking out from this side I layered all these streamers of seam binding and satin ribbon and there's another piece that I gotta cut or it's gonna bother me <laughs> okay so I actually layered it so that let's see here I cut a couple of pieces of everything and I have glued it underneath this so it's kind of flat and then I took my seam binding and I went into another layer of stuff that I had going on then I took a piece a couple pieces of the pearls which are the same pearls that I used here and you know put those down and they're not all the same length and then I just put some lace which this lace was actually three rows so I cut one left another one that had two rows there and then just put those two different thicknesses in and then I made a seam binding bow right here I don't know if you can even see it and then I made a ribbon bow on top of that so there's two bows let's see if I can fix that okay so there's two bows here layered on top of each other and then that's when I put my flowers down on top of everything made it kind of go this way and then I um, added some more pearls so they go here they just swag over to here now they're just hot glued to this part here um, I couldn't get it to go underneath this bling piece here which I think is um, a piece that Natasha sent me so unfortunately I couldn't make it um, go underneath but that's okay so then that finished that part um, before I had put my flowers and you know this section I'm sorry this section here I gotta zoom out I don't even know what before I had put this part here and the bling here and my pearls I had to um, cover up the little strap you know that I was using to hang to put everything together so I just took some trim and started it off just underneath my pocket and started going around the entire thing I went around here hot glued it here covering my felt and went around around this way cut a little corner here then put a trim here and I just kept going around I did this, excuse me, this part too. So it sort of finished my back. And then I just kept going and doing here. So, you know, it looked like, like this is the strap, like this part is the strap. I also put some of the same stuff here and then some of this here, which is a trim. I believe this is one of the trims that, um, I think it's, I think Muriel sent this to me and I mentioned that when I was trying to do my tutorial on this so I did use some of that and now over here this little bit here wasn't in, meant to be there but I did gesso this if you could see the flowers did get some gesso I just had to especially since my main project which is this had gesso on and I wanted to kind of coordinate things so I was heat setting things and I guess I left my heat tool a little too long underneath this little section here so it kind of um, I guess it was burning a little hole I don't know if you can even see that it's a little transparent there so I had to come up with something and I didn't want it to be thick so I just patched it with a piece of doily that I just glued under there and covered the hole um, so it wasn't intentional but now it's there <laughs> so anyway then I wanted to finish the top part here so I went and took another doily that I had in my stash that somebody gave me there's a little stain on the back so I made sure that was on the back made a hole through it because there's like a little bit of fabric here just ran it through and hot glued it all the way around leaving it loose enough so that it dangles made another seam binding bow and ribbon bow and hot glued that down and then put a little 
black back pearl there. So it looks like that. Over here, I found this piece in my stash, and I'm pretty sure that I have more somewhere, but I don't know where. So I only had one, and I thought it would be perfect to put here. I was hoping to find at least one more. Look at all this glue everywhere. Look at all this glue. I thought I got all the glue. Anyway, so I cut that one in half, put one in here, the other end here, and then I just got a couple of buttons from my stash and hot glued it in like right in between those two pieces there. So it looks like it's looped onto the button. So I didn't need to find a second one. I'm hoping that I find more, but I don't know where I put them. I'm pretty sure there was more than one. So somebody has sent me that as well. But it worked out with just the one. And it just gave that that look like a like a garment hanger, you know, for um, fancy uh, undergarments. <laughs> so anyway, that is that. I'm just trying to fix it. I think that's it. I don't know if I forgot to mention anything else. The only thing is that I did hot glue everything down. The felt itself, I sewed. Again, I, I mentioned that I sewed because I wanted it to be secure in this part too. But everything else got hot glued down. I didn't use my fabric tack this time. Um, I think it's all going to stay on secure. And again, you've got pockets to play with. How did I have this? one here and one here so you can easily make this with some cheap felt and you don't even have to use a sewing machine there we go you could use your fabric tack I guess I mean I haven't played with felt much but once you add all this stuff on there it's you know it makes it more sturdy so the only part that's really naked is this part right here, and that's probably why I burnt a hole in there. But I really wanted to show a little bit of that felt on the front. So that is that. I think it goes well with this, especially since it has the pearl. So now I just got to work on making a card, which will be another day. So thanks again for watching, and hopefully I'll get you guys the start to finish on this, especially the part where I actually just built this, because the rest you've seen me do already um, as far as like all these trims and things. I didn't do any, any side gluing here. I didn't have to. Um, I kind of, when I was putting this trim down, I let the little scallops here kind of overlap and go over my felt so it almost you know finishes that edge for me so that's I didn't have to do like I did before since I didn't run all of this stuff any higher than that it's just this little section here I didn't have to finish my ends so again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye now